Hey, what's going on guys? TK Games here, and I'm back with some Pokemon Legends Arceus. And we're still in the same recording session, so... Um, last episode, we gathered all the quests in town, and are told to go to a new area. So we're going to go ahead and go up there. Yeah, move on with some of the story, and then we can do some of the side quests. Story first right now. There you are, my boy. Welcome to the Coronet Highlands. I expect you'll find all sorts of rock type and ground type Pokemon wandering about these craggy boulder strewn heights. And up there, right beneath the Great Rift and Space time is the peak of Mount Cornet itself. The magnetism from it may well exert some sort of influence on Pokemon throughout the area. Fascinating stuff. Let's see if there's anything we should sell. Which there is. That's it. Um. Oops. Let's go up to the crafting kits. go. I think we're good on that for now. Let's check around. There's a quest up here, but we're going to over here. Wait, that is something. Iron Bark Tongue? It's a new item. And drop down here. And we need to go over here. See what this is all about. The Electro Donor as the Lord of the Hollow is somewhat different from the Electrode I recall. But its electrical discharges at least are familiar. One false step around it could put you in danger. If you're going to face it, you might consider catching Pokemon that can withstand electricity. It must be difficult being a Pokemon, uh, don't you think? Especially one as irritable as Electrode. Then become frenzied to boot. So true. It's a tough old life for Pokemon and humans alike. Well, well, Warden Ingo of the Pearl Clan. And, oh my, the Galaxy Team Grunt from before. You're punching well above your weight to seek out the great Electrode Lord of the Hollow. But by the sheer tenderness of my heart, I'll grant you a trial to see if you're worthy. The great, the greatest obstacle you'll ever face awaits you right here. Battle me if you dare. Huh. Well then, let me tell you the great Millie's take on the whole situation. The frenzy of our nobles is nothing other than a mark of Almighty Sinnoh's favor of protection. Why? Because it makes them stronger. Do I really need to spell that out? Uh, that That's a good thing? We must let my lord frenzy as it may to demonstrate to Almighty Sinnoh that the Diamond Clan lives as is right and good. 
Ducks might even be, dare I say it, the very reason I am here on this earth. What business is it of the galaxy teams anyway? If Electrode lets loose a few sparks out here in the mountains. Really, you should do us all a favor and slink back home to that village of yours rather than persist in this folly. And with that, bon voyage. What a selfish outlook. These frenzies caused the Pokemon themselves such suffering. But what is it to you want to do, TK Games? Press on, of course. Very well. The tracks ahead will be perilous, but I pride myself on safe driving. To meet Sneasler, TK Games, you must pass through here, Wayward Cave. Here you'll find Pokemon like Golbat and their ilk, which are quite at home navigating in the dark. It's quite dim inside, so you'll need to watch your step. Alright, let's do it. Well, this is odd. Torches that light the way through the cave are gone. Could this be Melly attempting to obstruct us? Either way, there's no need for concern. I know my route, and I'll conduct us safely. No darkness nor foul weather will delay us. Onward we roll. Take care not to come uncoupled from me. I recall faintly that I had a partner once, a precious one. His name escapes me, but I remember that it wielded flames with mastery. If only it were here, I'm sure it would light the way luring its Pokemon. Please forgive the unscheduled stop. I detect an Alpha Crobat in our way. In our normal circumstances, I doubt its presence would obstruct someone so competent as you. But given the poor visibility, I propose a track change. In the interest of safety, please follow me. I'm starting to recall a man who looked like me. We'd battle. Oh. The words I like winning more than anything else flashed through my mind just now. <laughs> Soon be arriving at the at Wayward's Cave's exit. Even if the memory themselves have faded, it appears much still lives in my heart. This is fine progress. We're nearly home free. Wait, could those be... Let me put those torches back where they belong. This darkness could be perilous for the next person to pass through here. I beg your pardon for the delay. I have lit and returned the torches. My safety concerns have been addressed. Ready for departure. If you follow the track marked by torches, you'll reach the terminus of this cave. Interesting. I just wanted to look in here. A lot of iron chunks. Ooh. That's something that I want. Sadly, I cannot attack it at all. Because I will kill it with everything. Um... I got Ultra Ball. I gotta kinda use it on this, don't I? Nice. Get 
Gibble's good. I, I really like Garchomp, so... Didn't we come from this way? I want to find uh, that crowbat. It was right over here, wasn't it? Thought it was guarding the way over here. Where'd it go? The heck? Did the Alpha Crobat move? So turn this way. Turn this way slightly. And then he said the Crobat was right here. It's not here no more. There's a Golbat. Another Gibble. I'll kill the Zubat. I only have a confusion still, though. I forgot. I think I got a new move, actually, on um, Alakazam. That I forgot to look. Um... Psycho Cut and Zen Headbutt, which are both pointless. I need, like, Psybeam or something. Catch this Gibble also. Let's see if I can catch with a Great Ball so I don't waste an Ultra Ball. All right. Oh, 41. I don't know. I don't think this will actually kill in one hit. Yeah. Gonna hurt. It's okay. Want to beat these all because this is a good place to gain XP. Okay, this will kill. I just need a stronger psychic attack. Um, let's see here. Where are my potions at? There we go. A nice super potion will heal all the way. I wonder if I can climb this. I can. Sixty. I can't handle level sixty. Not right now. That's fine. I can almost handle level sixty, but not quite. Looks like there was whisk cash in there. Okay. Professor Levington told me how you fell to this land from the sky. For my part, I simply found myself one day here in his sweet, a region whose name I'd never heard. All I could remember was my own name. I was still standing there in bafflement when the Pearl Clan came to my aid. 
I showed a natural affinity for taming Pokemon, which is why I eventually became a warden. But still, I wonder what my true purpose is here. Ah, but now I have sidetracked us with this talk. Let's hurry onward. Ooh, Heracross. Um, well, that didn't work. Heracross actually might just one-shot me. Let's use Dazzling Gleam. Okay, used Aerial Ace. I was lucky for that. Uh, let's go ahead and throw a Great Ball. He's breaking out, really? Well, that's not good. He's gonna kill Alakazam. Oh yeah, that easily kills Alakazam. Send out Typhlosion. Throw another Great Ball. There we go, caught it. I need to revive Alakazam. Then a potion will do fine, even with five. What's this? Dire Shroom? Wait. Oh. I was like, what's attacking me? It's just one of them. Oops. I didn't mean to attack Psyduck. Especially with Graveler. <laughs> Wait. Can't remember. Does he have a grass attack? He does. He has an energy ball, so. I should be able to face a gold duck. Can easily face a gold duck. Oh, that's cool that I could do that. Okay. level is this alpha? I'm on the wrong Pokemon. We'll just leave for now. Don't need to deal with that. Is this? Kidding me? I can't quite get up there. Wait. Doppel bonnet.
What's the big idea of putting back all the torches I spent ages tidying away? Do you get some sort of amusement stomping around and ruining people's noble deeds? Oh, rendering a cave impassable to people who venture inside hardly seems noble to me. <laughs> well, this just goes to show that even we wardens don't always see eye to eye. I extinguish those lights for the sake of the Pokemon in that cave who prefer the dark. But now you louts have put my effort to waste. If you think I'll just let you saunter ahead to meet Lord Electrode, you're sorely mistaken. The only way you're getting past me is if you defeat my partner Pokemon. How will you proceed? I'll beat him. Ghost gun tank. Show these louts the true meaning of silent but deadly. Okay, dark. Hmm. I don't think I have a good attack against him. So I will have to switch Pokemon. have any super effective bulldoze all right I'll swap to grappler that's fine Ooh, almost killed me let's go ahead and bulldoze might not kill though oh but I get a second one so I beat him Right. Listen here, neither I nor skunk, skunk Tank admit defeat just yet. Our challenge to you still stands. However, I will withdraw to afford stun, Skunk Tank time to recover. There's no shame in a tactical retreat. It's more of an advance, if you think about it. Keep your guard up, we'll be back. What a lively character. I cannot fathom Warden Melu's intention, but for now, let us press on. Well, what's attacking me? Let's go ahead and kill Paris. Okay. Choose a couple of regular potions on Graveler. There's bronze song in here. This is the ancient quarry. The stones used to build the temple atop this mountain were all cut from this place. Whether by humans and Pokemon working as one, or by the labor of Pokemon alone, I cannot say. The stones that were left behind should serve to cover us from the gazes of wild Pokemon. Ah, they are in go, or in, in go, what? Volo, was it? What is the matter, sir? I want to ask about that memory loss of yours. Have you considered that it could have somehow been caused by the space-time rift? I have no cause to think the rift is to blame, but then again, I hardly remember a thing, so it's difficult to say with certainty. I can't remember my own home, nor my family, if I had any. So you might do better to pose your questions to TK Games, I think, if it's to do with that rift. Indeed, well I do hope your memories return, Warden Ego. How about you? Then, TK Games, do you remember what you saw before you fell out of that rift? Was there anything inside? Interesting. You see, personally, I suspect that whatever is on the other side of that rift is causing the strange lightning that plagues us. Makes sense. 
Indeed. I did some digging and found records indicating that the same space-time rifts also appeared in history in the distant past. That's why we already had a name for it as it appeared, in fact. Now what kind of world do you suppose stretches out on the other side of the rift? My guess is that it is Almighty Sinus realm. But then that begs the question, why has the space-time rift reopened when it closed once so long ago? And why would TK Games have fallen through to us? There's just so much we don't know. I fervently hope you unravel this mystery, Volo. I'm sure it would ease people's fears over the frenzies of our nobles. And while you investigate, sir, I'll continue to prioritize the safety of the people living in this world. Oh, I am a mere admirer of the ruins, and little more. If something needs investigating, then I would not trust that task to TK Games. Till next time, then. Once we're through here, it will be a little further. Let us move with speed, but not haste. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please leave a like if you did. Please leave a comment in the comment section below. And please subscribe if you'd like to see more. I'll see you next time.